Hi, I'm Jodie from Goldilocks Academy and I help business owners get their Facebook marketing just right with Facebook ads and sales funnels. But what I'm talking to you today about is Facebook live streaming. We all know that Facebook um, it loves videos. And I went to Social Media Marketing World earlier in the year, flew all the way over to America, and all the talk was about live streaming. Live streaming, it is just hot to trot, okay? And Facebook loves it. Facebook loved videos, right? They were pushing videos into the newsfeed more and more and more. But now, when you actually go live, that is what's getting bumped into the newsfeed more and more. And the longer that you are alive, the more Facebook will push you out into the newsfeed. So that's organic reach, that's free reach. Okay, so Facebook loves live video and there's nothing like video to help your potential customers get that know, like and trust factor going a whole lot quicker than just a static image. So you gotta be using it. So I brought this to you today, there's a bit to it. It can be a bit techy and there will be a point where I will refer you to someone who knows a lot more about it than I do if you're really wanting to go down that trail. But I, what I'm just showing you today is how you can get up and running and started with Facebook live streaming on your desktop. So if you have groups that you um, facilitate this could be a great avenue for you to record straight into your group. Okay, go live into your group. They can post up their questions. You can have the discussion there. I'm in a number of groups where the facilitators are looking to stop webinars and just use live streaming into the group. But with that, that's one of the more technical parts of this, which we'll talk about later on. But here, this will get you up and running to go live streaming on your Facebook page. So let's get into it. So how to use live streaming on your Facebook using your desktop. Woohoo, happy days indeed. So what you're going to need is this software. It's called OBS, okay? So obsproject.com and you can download the software that you're going to need, whether it's Windows or Mac or Linux, if someone uses that, which people do. So click on the one that you need and just follow the download instructions. It's as easy as that. That, that is the simple part. Okay. Now how to live stream on your Facebook page. So once you've downloaded all the software, um, you're going to need to open up OBS. Now how I did it and so how I can see what's all going on is on one screen, I have two screens, but on one screen I halved it so I could see both the, my Facebook page and also the OBS software, okay? So I didn't have to move my head, you know, like from side to side so people would look at my profile as I'd look at one and then look at the other. So both on the screen right in front of you is what I would recommend. So you'll go onto your page and you'll select publishing tools and then you'll select videos. Next you'll see this live button comes up. Okay, so you'll click on that and then this little window will come up. This gives you the stream key, okay? These stream keys are valid for 24 hours and each time you want to stream, you will actually need to do this to get like a new stream key, okay? So you'll click on that to get the copy the stream key and then what you're going to do is you're going to paste it up over to OBS. Okay, so you're going to have to go to settings and then you'll select stream and then press the little drop down and select Facebook Live. Then there'll be the spot for you to paste your stream key and then click on OK. Another little step that you're going to have to do when you're setting up OBS is to select, you know, your your video capture. So which is going to be, you know, when you're wanting to talk to screen, it's obviously going to be like your, your, your webcam sort of thing. So click here to select that and give it a name of your new input device. Then on the other little box there, click plus because you're adding another device and say video capture device. You'll select OK and then you'll choose which, you know, for me, I only had the one option come up because I only have the one, you know, video device. So it's select OK and then, ta-da, there you are. It came up a bit small, so all you need to do is just grab the bottom of the box there and drag it out. 
So then the fun really begins, okay? You'll hit the little start streaming button over here. And then we'll go over here to Facebook and it'll fetch the video stream. Now, be warned, there may be a huge lag. We're not just talking like three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds. We're saying like 30 seconds or more. So that can make your intros and your outros a bit tricky as to when you're actually starting, when you're actually stopping. So that's going to take some practice. We're going into your personal profile and testing there will be a very, very handy thing. And like I said, this is a bit of a different uh, setup to go on your personal profile, but we'll cover that in just a sec. So, but just be warned, there is a big lag. Okay, so then after it's fetched the video, oops, sorry, back here, you'll click on the little go live button, okay? So you'll see the video starting to appear here and click on go live. And then you, what you will see there is, this is the um, Facebook preview area, and then this is OBS. So as you can see, two completely different pictures. <laughs> it was a long time apart, actually. And and that's your live streaming. So and away you go, and you'll see what's going on down here on the side. And you know, you could have another Facebook window over on like a second screen that would have your page or whatever you're broadcasting to, just so you can keep an eye on what's going on over there. So when you have finished, when you click on end live video, it's gonna end right there. Okay, so even though you might have wrapped everything up and it's still all coming through here, if you click end live video, it's gonna stop in its tracks. So what you're gonna have to do is click on stop streaming over here. So that will stop the streaming, but it will feel, still feed through. Now, this is gonna be weird because you're gonna be sitting there and the light's probably still gonna be going on your camera and you're gonna go, what are people seeing? Um, well, that's where, do your practicing on your personal profile, select only me and um, get it down pat. So, as I said, how to live stream on your personal profile or group is a bit different. So what we just went through is how you can go live on your page, okay? So while it might be a bit mm, techy, it's pretty straightforward, okay? Download the software, get the live stream from URL, from your page, put it in your settings over on OS, OBS, and then away you go. To go on your personal profile or group, that is actually something that you need a developer tool for and I did start going down that trail to get like an API and all of that but I just went oh man this is not my thing even though I can do it it's not my thing it doesn't mean I should so I stopped there and I'm <laughs> referring you to someone who has done it and has created a way that you can use it at the moment as well and then also if you are really wanting to get into your Facebook live stream this is the guy to go to okay so his name is Ian Anderson Gray here's the website down here on his website there's this fabulous little button where to, so you can go on your page here as well via this button, or you can do it directly from your software once from OBS, once you've downloaded it. But for your profile or to go into a group, this is where you will need to go, okay? Though admittedly today, um, when I tried to do it into a group, it didn't work, okay? And I had seen other people's comments, oh, group's not working, and then they came back, oh, yay, it's working again. Such is technology, okay? We've got to just roll with it, baby. So what you'll do, you'll click on the little blue button, and the usual sort of pop-up screen comes up, okay? Select where it's going to go to. In this instance, just saying I was wanting to go into a group, and you select your group. Then it comes back over to Facebook with that little pop-up with your stream key, just as we did earlier, okay, for your page. Then you go to your settings again, choose stream, pop in your stream key, and away you go. The next thing you'll do, I'll go back to that um, other page as well, like I showed you. Uh, let me just find it. Okay, then you'll be back to this page, okay? You'll click on start stream and it will fetch your video. And then you press on go live. And that's how you do it for your page and sorry, for your profile and for your group. So that is Facebook live streaming on your desktop. 
is it all worth it you say I know I can hear you say that and yes it is it is because like if you're in a group or a coach and you have groups then this is a fabulous way that you can get into your groups you can go live rather than just using you know your little phone all the time and also with OSB you can be recording it as well so if you're going on pages then you can record it as well and you can put it up on different devices and often the quality you know phones no doubt about it have awesome quality uh, but you know you might just find that your desktop is better because it is just more stable and the quality just may be a bit better so Facebook Live, if you're using um, Facebook for business, then you can't ignore it. So this is where you can get some more Facebook information from me. As I said, I'm Jodie from Goldilocks Academy, helping business owners get their Facebook marketing just right. And I would love to have you join our group where we can answer all things Facebook and I'll bring you the latest Facebook um, tips and strategies, particularly ads. Ads are a big question for people and that's something that I'm really into. So I'd love to see you um, join the group. Just follow the links and I'll give you access. No dramas at all. So I hope that's been great value to you. If you know someone that would benefit from that, feel free to share it with them. Let them know about it and spread the word that Facebook Live is the way to go. So I hope you have a great day and I'll touch base with you another time, hopefully on Facebook. Bye.